right? Four, three, two, so I should just one. Right yeah, just run. Go. My name is William, I'm from the University of Colorado and we're here to fly a 360 camera up on a high altitude balloon to about 95,000 feet, 100,000 feet for the purposes of videoing the uh, eclipse shadow moving under us. So a couple years ago I saw a video of uh, somebody taking um, footage from an airplane of the eclipse in 2013 and it's really it's quite spectacular and what you see in that video is as totality approaches the plane you can see from the edge of the horizon the wall of the shadow coming towards the plane and it's it's absolutely stunning okay. but you know we can do a little bit better than the plane my thought was okay let's go higher and that'll make the shadow a little bit smaller and you'll see it more as this thing moving across the landscape So we got our last position update. It's, uh, it landed at about 9,000 feet, just north of Triangle Peak in the Wind River Range. And we got a decent amount of hiking to do this evening to go get it back. <laughs> so we got uh, quite a bit higher than we expected to, a little over 100,000 feet. We were expecting maybe 95,000 feet, but that's good because that means we got more video of the eclipse. Um, so 
we're really happy. And I know it's transmitting, it's down on the ground, so I'm extra happy because that means we found it and we know where it is. It's not in a lake. <laughs> no, it's not in a lake. It's, it might be in some snow, but that's not such a big deal. Does it say, so, please don't touch me, science experience? It or? says, uh, contact William to uh, get a reward. <laughs> yeah, we should go. Uh, we gotta pack up and we gotta just get as close as we can and see what time it is uh, by the time we get there. And if it's too late, then I suppose we'll just camp the night and go get it tomorrow. Uh, we don't know quite yet because I haven't looked at the route on Triangle to get up the Triangle Peak, but I'm assuming it's about five miles, okay. maybe a little more. But where it landed is 9,000 feet, so it's not, it's not so bad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right here. It's just west of Darwin Peak and north of Triangle Peak. It didn't move at all. Since From the last, last update, yeah. yeah. So about 9,000 feet. It's dry. <laughs> yeah, it's dry. We got ourselves a backpacking trip. It. Check it out, it's right over there, right in those bushes. Oh, that's not a bad landing spot. No, not at all. That might have been soft even. All right, here's the parachute. And the box. And the camera is beat to shit, but it's okay. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. <Yes. laughs> Padding got destroyed, but it looks like the camera is fine. I don't see any scratches or anything like that on the lenses. It's all in one piece. It's great. It looks great. It's intact. All right. <laughs> Man, can you believe this? We sent this up to 100,000 feet and here it is. And we only had to hike like 10 miles to come get it. Ah. That's awesome. Hey everyone, I hope you liked the video. Uh, I have a lot more footage from the 360 camera and at some point in the future, I'm going to be uploading uh, VR versions of the edits from the balloon video, as well as uh, less edited shots of uh, the shadow of totality passing under the balloon, things like that. Not sure exactly when, but um, stay tuned and thanks again for watching.